Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's your boy RC East here. I've been doing lots of 3D printing, but I've been messing with the H2D a lot and I decided to want to put the laser up in there. And I got the 40 watt model. There's a 10 watt and a 40, but anyways, I wanted to make some stuff with the laser. I wanted to see how it affected the printer. I've run about, I don't know, 25, 30 hours off and on, but today I made a bunch of things. I made like all these little coasters and all kinds of random stuff, just Christmas stuff, just playing around with it, different kinds of wood, just testing it, seeing what I could make. Um, Christmas stuff, I, I made this clock, got that off Maker World, it's a Harry Potter clock, I don't know, I made these chairs, just all kinds of messing around, just seeing what kind of, what what's it going to do to the printer? How's it going to affect it? How dirty is it going to get it? And I learned today what the case may be on that. And I also have the smoke eliminator so that's right there with it running right there and i use that each time i do the laser now when i'm not running the laser i just have that pipe directly into my ventilation in which case i hook instead of having the uh, smoke eliminator smoke eater i put this in the pipe join the two pipes out no need of it especially because i do a lot of abs printing anyways so i'm going to do another one right in front of us here Maybe I'll put a little time lapse up here somewhere and show you what it looks like while it's going and just kind of show you. I never cleaned it. I never did anything. If you can look, you can see the kind of residue on it and I pumped the smoke out. So, you know, if you're not into laser, maybe you want the H2S or something like that or, but uh, you know, also if you're out printer shopping, like I've said in other videos, the X1Cs are awesome. I use them every day almost. So let's get into it. I'll do a, uh, a quick coaster. I'll probably run off one of these little bad boys. They're good to give out for Christmas, whatever. And uh, I'll show you kind of how much smoke it puts off. We'll look at it through the glass. We'll look at the time lapse. And that way you can see it in real time what it looks like. I see lots of videos out there just kind of showing you a little clip, the smoke coming off. I want you to see what it looks like because it looks to me like most of those guys clean their printers before they come on the video and I haven't. I wiped the door off earlier today after doing one and then I was like you know what I'm gonna leave that so you guys can see it. So let's do it guys. So first thing I'm gonna do guys is chuck one of these bad boys in there. It's just the little pieces I use for the coaster. It'll get you a good look at the door as you can see. This was clean as a whistle this morning but have been doing laser all day. Check it out. Look. Comes off pretty easy though. So I'll set that in. I like setting it right in the middle. Shut the door. That's what I'll do next. Make sure that it's secure. Because if you don't, it won't work. And right now, I wanted to tell you too. I'm sitting at 203 hours. That's how much I've printed with this so far. These guys are well over 2,000. But yeah. It's still working great. Uh, you know. Um, it's great quality. I'm not sure where people were coming with uh, the it's slower thing because it really isn't. Because when you get into multicolor prints, it definitely isn't slower because it switches quicker and it uses less filament. So all that was, I think, nonsense. But anyway, so let's move over to put an image on this. We'll capture the image and we'll move on from there. So let's start a new project real quick. Just file, new project. And for me, the way I bring them in is I go here, and I usually can bring them in. I got this one. Uh, no, that's not what I want. We already did that one. We'll do, where is it? Um, it should be in this uh, right here. This one we want to do. We'll bring that in. It's going to tell me to change the size of it. Yep, there we go. Yep, reduce the size, which is fine. Okay, so I'll definitely reduce the size of it anyway. So first thing you want to do is right click on it, decide what process you're going to do. Me, I'm going to do the image. I'm not going to trace it. It's just the way I like to do it. Um, you can trace it. You can do all kinds of stuff with it. I'd, I'm just not going to. All right, so now we want to capture image so we can show where the little piece we threw in is for a coaster. So yeah, move everything out of the way so you don't break nothing. Yep, we know. And now it's thinking about it. 
Computer struggling a little bit today, guys, because basically I've been working it really hard. All right, so now we know this is this is what got me at first, though, guys, right here. Because you'd think you'd just chuck it there and it'd be fine, but no. What you want to do is go up here, and there's a icon here, batch engrave, when it highlights. Anyways, you want to go there, make sure you got that thing centered up. I know for sure that it's going to come down some right about there somewhere. And it, I know looking at it from where you're at, you're probably like, hey, that's not centered. But here's the thing. If you center it, the camera's kind of angled a bit. You can notice you can see the front of this. So keep that in mind when you try to make anything that's beveled on the edge like that. So now I look at it. I think, uh, you know what? That looks pretty good. It's pretty much centered. I'm looking left to right. I mean, I could go a little bit more right. Right there, maybe. All right, that looks good, I think. Highlight it one more time. Have a quick peek. So next, what you want to do, you can preview it and all that. What I do is I'll select this, even though it's not the uh, basswood. I'll select that because I don't have a profile for this. I'll select that it's uh, nine millimeters thick because that's how thick these coasters are. Another thing I thought I should mention, guys, I, I'm so used to doing it now, I never thought to mention it, is you're going to want to set your power. Now, with this one, I probably would have been fine at this 55%. I wanted a little darker, so maybe I'll go, I don't know, 65, 70%. It will be dark, but that's what I want. So that's good enough. Thought I should mention that. Check it again, just make sure I didn't move it while I was frigging around here. It's a little bit over and up. And it's tricky to get, so I'll get that centered up best I can. Doing circles aren't my strong suit. All right, so that looks good, I think, right there. Now we'll make it, so what you're going to want to do, guys, send it to the machine, and it's going to tell me that I need to wait here. And this is one thing I kind of dislike, but whatever, it's part of the job. You gotta do it, you kinda wait a second. It's gonna move the laser inside. As you can see, my door's real smoky. And this is from today. It's gonna tell me here it's okay. I'm gonna press next. You gotta press the button on top. Hold it till it beeps. Rock and roll, the thing's ready to go. So as you can see, I'll show you a little closer. See if I can't turn the light out to make the view a little better. As you can see, it's doing the job right now. And it's going to do this for two or three minutes. So you probably don't want to watch the whole thing, but I wanted to show you this. There is some smoke, and I turned up the heat on her, and not a lot of smoke. But there's a lot of smoke on the door because I've been cutting everything. So, um... We'll kind of hang back. I'll show you what it looks like. You can also watch it on the little screen so you're not looking directly at it. I'll see if I can clear that up. Also, you can watch it on your computer screen, which is a nice feature. Uh, it doesn't want to let me look at that because of the uh, laser, but as you can see, it's there too. And you can actually select to watch it right here on the screen, which is actually a better video, I find, to be watching. So... We'll get this one done, and I'll be right back to show it to you. And you'll be able to see how much smoke's in the machine and all that stuff. Now it's going to show you you got to wait about 30 seconds before opening the door to clear all the smoke. I usually don't, but for the sake of this video, I probably should, but I get pretty impatient, just like the folks watching this video. It's no good. I hate waiting for anything, but that smoke eliminator or smoke eater, whatever you want to call it, I'll put up the proper words at the top of the screen here, really sucks the smoke out of this thing fast anyways. So let's pull this thing out and see what it looks like. All right. So as you can see, no smoke inside. And check it out. It's pretty cool. It's not real dark, but we're going to rub these with like an oil. So they're going to look awesome anyways. It kind of looks different in different lights, but it's cut right into it, guys. It's probably in there a millimeter or more. So that's pretty awesome. So that's all made. I wanted to show you what that looks like. Now let's look at the machine inside. And we'll really look into detail about how much 
stuff gets on the machine because you're going to be asking those questions because you're looking into buying one of these or you have one you're thinking about getting the laser module so let's talk more about the smoke that gets on the machine even with it um do i think it's going to affect anything not in my case because i'll clean it but if you didn't clean it it definitely would check that out guys it's kind of smoky and it was clean as a whistle this morning um but i will say i really like it it's an awesome feature the it's super easy to install i'm going to show you that by deinstalling it or uninstalling it whatever you want to say here and uh show you how simple it is just to take it out and uh move move forward so let's get to it so first thing i do for me is i take this right out so we'll take that out then i'd uh move this forward go to the xc here we go move this down a little bit move this forward a little bit now you should probably turn off the machine i'm pretty comfortable with not turning it off it should be fine so what i'll do now is i'm going to move you guys to the side a little bit and show you what i'm going to do i'll move it so you can kind of see up in here there's a plug-in right here pretty simple i'll unplug that they say you got to take the uh ams all off and everything i don't think you do in my opinion you don't get to and i'll take that off the laser modules out look how dusty it is it's just from today guys i'll clean that all up make that look brand new and uh, then what you got to do is reach up in there and get the hose out. But just one second, guys. You got to press this thing in the back, pull the hose out, boom. It's all uninstalled. The hose for the air assist or the air cooling, whatever you want to call it, comes out. You're going to pop this lid back on the front. It's all clean in behind where the laser was anyway. Little lint right there. And I'll stick this back on. Boom. And then there's a little like dust cover for the plug-in. I'll put that on and it's all uninstalled. So, you know, it's super easy to work with. Now the part that's going to be fun is cleaning it all up, getting all the dust out of it. And uh, I'm going to check the grease, even though it was one day. I definitely want to give this a quick clean and, and I'll use 99% uh, alcohol on that just so it wipes right off. So I'm going to take and put the bed all the way down first. And maybe I'll time lapse me cleaning it up. Just before I time lapse, I'll show you. This is what I use to clean it. It's what I use to clean all my 3D printers. All right, time lapse time. So you just wipe her down everywhere. It takes just two or three minutes if you want to do it in between full maintenances. Okay, guys, it looks pretty good. I'm going to do a full maintenance on it anyway. Got all the, like, smoke off it. Wipes off pretty easy, as you saw. There's no real, like elbow grease that goes into it that literally was under five minutes and well you guys saw it's probably more like two or three minutes but anyways it wasn't a lot so now i'm going to lower the plate again or the build deck here i'm going to wipe it one more time because i always wipe everything twice i'm going to check all the sensors under here first before i go any further just kind of wipe everything off real good i already did it but i like doing it a second time just because that's right where the smoke goes and I want it to be clean and I always check around and see how the camera is doing wipe everything off even though the camera didn't get dirty I like to wipe it off it doesn't seem to get dirty so now I'm gonna chuck a plate back in it I got some other ones guys I'm really excited about they came today in the mail I'm gonna check them out um, from uh, BIQU so what they're called guys are well i got one regular build plate and then i got one that's called a frostbite and one that's called though so this is the frostbite here and this one's called the glacier that's in my hand and that's the frostbite so and then i got another one so i'm really excited i'm gonna do another video on those guys that's not what this video is about I just wanted to say, hey, I got some build plates. I'm excited and I'm gonna test them out. So basically what I was talking about here was the performance of the laser. Now, do I think it hurts the machine? I don't know, if you take care of it, I don't think so. As long as you have the proper equipment like the uh, smoke eliminator. Um, takes it right out. 
as long as you got it hooked up. Now I'm going to unhook it here in a few minutes because I'm going to be doing printing. There's no need of having it. It actually sucks too much. So if you're printing ABS or anything, it just pulls the heat right out. It's not messing around. It's a, it's an awesome, awesome feature. And if I was going to have the laser, I would definitely buy that if, if you're out shopping, guys. And you can check in the description for links. I'll put some up in there. So I'm going to go ahead, calibrate the machine, get back to 3D printing. But I showed you what I was doing, kind of showed you what a day of looks like for smoke. If you didn't care for the machine, I can see over time it causing problems, but I think that that's part of your regular maintenance, guys, to clean your machine. You're just going to have to do it a little bit more if you're running the laser. All right, well, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll show you some more of the cool stuff that I make over time. I don't know. I just enjoy gimm gimmicky little stuff to give to people. It makes a lot better than gimmicky stuff, too. It's just that I haven't had time to really make any. But this stuff's awesome. I really enjoy it. Just Christmas coasters, guys, making little crafts and stuff. Christmas is coming. I know it ain't Halloween yet, but I'd be surprised how quick it gets here. All right, thanks for watching, guys. Check for links in the description. Subscribe my channel. Go check out my social media accounts, please. Um, the links are in my bio. And thank you very much for watching. Like I said, have a good one.